Hello everyone, Zeno and Zim here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dynasty Warriors Gundam. Last episode, we defeated Shara Jabro. This time, we're fighting an unknown enemy. There's a lot more that goes on that the enemy expands on than this game does. That's one thing I'll never say this game does good, is expanding on what's already established in the anime. But let's go. Gundam launching. Now we're fighting Shar in the Gelug. The Gelug is something we'll eventually we'll be able to pilot, but oh my god, is this is it annoying to fight against? Usually not because of anything thing the Gelug can do, but because of the enemy surrounding it. Same with why the Gundams are more annoying is more annoying to fight is more because of how they've got allies backing them up. And now with Shar at this The Zeon fleet has now appeared. Want to try and quickly get over there as quick as possible. And... Want to try and quickly as possible take out both Musai fleets. And there we go. Musai fleet down. And now if we continue him. Now let's try and head for this point ship. Terrible lighting. He sounds so confused in that cutscene. Oh boy. You want to just keep trying to shoot because honestly, hang them. You can say the Salamis, it is just really hard to. The Elamith has temporarily retreated. The Musai fleet has appeared, but we won't be dealing with that. We'll be heading straight through here. Shield ice power has fallen. Wanna just clear out this amber. Oh 
my god, I messed up. And then with that, we've got them banned colony. Excuse me. We'll be heading straight for the smooth side and we want to try and be quick about what we're going to be doing right after. Because if we don't, we'll be losing the Salamis. There we go. Stand by. And Salamis is moving up to this field. We'll soon see Salamis coming into this field, which is right below our field. Slot neatly in. Kai's having trouble. Now follow the Salamis because we don't want to lose this thing. I believe it stops soonish. Yes, it's Salamis is alright, field C. Gato. Solomon, I have returned. We want to actually defeat Sol Solomon. We want to defeat Gato. It seems weird for us to just do so, but if we want Salamis to survive, we need this. We need Gato gone. And where the hell is Gato gone? Oh, right in front of me. Oh my god. There you go. There's Gato gone. Amro has defeated Gato. Now we'll take on this Musai, and then we'll head right back. Okay, now we can. Now we've got the level special level three, so now I can show that off. Yeah. It's actually quite effective at clearing fields, but you can tell that it's not very good at clearing uh, aces. Now let's now let's head straight for the enemy. What I was trying to take on Alamif quickly. However, if you're if you're first going through this, you might want to take on take on Ridden if you haven't taken up to capture that field, the middle field. Of course, if things get too sour, too that too bad, you want to just stop what you're doing. And it's looking like it is actually starting to head back since they've actually started taking fields. Heading straight back for a white base.
This is not exactly the most commentable part of the mission, sadly. So sorry that I am being very, very quiet. I think Johnny Ridden should be heading toward White Base, yeah. Annoyingly, we don't have any any way to break guards, like grabs or anything, so we don't have any sort of ability to break them without using a special, and we don't want to use special against Ridden. We want to try and grind up for Char. Take down this Musai, so we don't have to deal with. Yeah, you better watch out for those lasers though, because they do actually, they can actually hit you. So we want to try and make sure you don't get hit by them. And one guard. And now the field is captured. Let's head straight for that pointy ship. I don't know why he's saying getting cocky on me. Cocky does not mean mean what that what meant, what they're probably implying. It'd make more sense if you're saying saying he was getting too cocky, but he isn't. He's saying the enemy's getting too cocky on him, but that doesn't Just keep, sh just keep backing up and shooting. And here comes Char, in the most annoying part of this whole fight, this whole mission, fighting Char. I wish I was joking. With how annoying Oh my god, Hayato. That's embarrassing. That was embarrassing, just one half left.
Mission complete. <laughs> we killed someone. Someone who was probably innocent. That's the context of this whole part. But with that, we actually got through that pretty well. I could have done better, but I mean, it could have been worse. So, next time, we'll be going to a Boa Coup, the final mission of Amro's story. See you then. Xeno and Zima, signing out.